Thanks, man. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! All right, I want you to say FS2s. FS2s! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! You're going to year one! Yeah! yeah. Nice! Learning to express themselves, 
share their ideas, and build friendships that will last a lifetime. Independence and confidence are virtues that we hold in high regard here at Big East. And I'm thrilled to say that each and every one of our FS2 students has shown tremendous growth in these areas. They have learned to navigate challenges with resilience, and have discovered the joy of learning through exploration and curiosity. None of this would have been possible without the unwavering support and partnership between home and school. To all the parents and guardians here today, your dedication to your child's education has been invaluable. Your involvement and encouragement have truly made a difference in their journey. Can we put our hands together for our parents? Of course, none of this growth would be possible without the dedication and passion of our outstanding teachers. Please join me in extending our heartfelt thanks to Miss Damare, Miss Gladys, Miss Kisala, Miss Vivi, Miss Omach, Miss Irene, Miss Buluma, Miss Alumi, Miss Faith, and Mr. Ajoi. Your patience, creativity, and commitment to nurturing these young minds have been a lasting impact on each student here today. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> it seems like yesterday when we just arrived. Now my friends is crying, holding tight to our mommies and daddies. We have grown up bigger now. Can you see how cold we are? <laughs>
opportunity to share with you and encourage that our graduates um, this morning. But just before we start, I want you to just give a round of applause to the to the teachers for the excellent work they've done. <laughs> I say this with a very big um, gratitude in my heart for the work you've done on these kids. I remember um, when we first arrived, if you look at the age group of these kids, you realize that many of them are born between 2018 and 2020, maybe before 2020. And those are about the same time when COVID came and all of them were just inside the house. Um, coming to school was the first time they were breaking out from COVID era. Um, socially, it was very difficult for them. Emotionally, it was very difficult for them. But the teachers worked so hard to um, make sure that they break that barrier of um, limitation of social experience that they didn't have just staying home because of COVID-19. I want to also highlight the uh, dedicated um, dedication that they've done to the curriculum of this of the to the students. Some of the group activities as you see uh, every every morning I think the highlights for me was every morning when I come out here during assembly and see some of the great presentations and some of the great skills that he put together to make uh, these students confident in themselves and able to do what they, what they did today, it only can only be said by the dedication and the work that you guys have done. Um, to the parents, I want to say that uh, the parents, I want to say a big thank you. Can someone please clap for the parents? <laughs> so it's, the thing about learning is that learning starts from home. Right, and it all boils back to the teachers doing the work that they do and excellently do the best they do, but the parents picking up from everywhere they left off to do the amazing work. And I want to congratulate the parents that, that the kids are graduating today, but more so to say that they have worked together as a team um, to be able to make this what you see today and these kids 
excellent kids that you've seen today to um, to be at the level and the stage where they are coming together to um, do some activities together for the kids be it cooking, be it providing snacks and, and support for the teachers, but overall emotional support. Um, I think the kind of group of, of parents that we have um, at this, for the FS2 parents and for more, some of the East e stage um, early year parents, for me, I think I can speak personally that um, earlier this year, my wife had left back to the US and for me, the parents would you know, share time to pick the kids and take them back home. And all of this kind of boils back to overall the holistic experience that the kids have. And I'm sure they're gonna miss it, but more so the kids have grown to make everlasting friends that they will always leave back to remember. I want to say, um, just to highlight the importance of this school. This school is not just here by um, an accident. I think it's a landmark opportunity for the kids. Uh, this school is more like, um, a place where the kids get opportunity to interact with students from different backgrounds, different cultural experience, and different um, places of all walks of life, right? Um, this, this school presents that unique opportunity for them to interact with other kids, learn new things, and, and be exposed to much more diverse ways of doing things. I saw the kids grow in terms of sport, sporting activities, collaboration and if you had the opportunity to see the um, swimming gala for the early years um, kids you see that they were not just competing against each other but they were cheering on each other but that kind of unity and collaboration that they've installed in them I think is something they're going to live with and grow with. Um, overall just like the principal mentioned during his speech these kids have grown from just counting numbers to reading books and now I struggle with my kids because he doesn't cor correct me. Chevin not correct me about the things I pronounce wrong, and and he thinks that uh, Mister March is the is the encyclopedia. We didn't use it. We don't use it anymore. It's the encyclopedia of language, right? So anything that Mister March says becomes a law, and anything I say does not matter. So, so, so I remember a typical example was. We had this conversation where we, he thinks that Mr. Tonga is not a teacher. It's a principal. That makes sense. I told him as a teacher, he said, no, we can ask me so much. And Mr. Marsh would tell us Mr. Tonga is a teacher. <laughs> and we asked me so much. Mr. Marsh broke the eyes and said that Mr. Tonga is a teacher. At least I want this <laughs> Um But overall, I want to say to the, to the graduates, you've done a very fantastic job and your parents are super proud of you. And I can't wait to see all the great things that you will be achieving. As you go to big school, I know you're going to continue to be the excellent student that you've been. Just know that you can aim for the sky. Don't shoot for the stars. Aim for the entire sky. And congratulations.